Good morning. Today is Tuesday, October 25th, 2022, and it is day number 290 in my fasting journey. Yesterday, I weighed in at 125.2 pounds, and this morning, I am at 124.4 pounds. So, I have lost 8 tenths of a pound since yesterday, and a total of 94.6 pounds since the start of my fasting journey. So right now I am doing rolling 72s. I am in round 75 and I'm about 46 hours in. So this means tomorrow I have a refeed scheduled and as of right now I'm not sure what I'm having for my meal as of yet so I'll let you know tomorrow. But anyways in today's video I wanted to tell you what happened yesterday as kind of like a sign of what's to come um, when you persist and you continue to eat clean and fast and so basically yesterday I um, met my friend he was having lunch and um, he was eating California Pizza Kitchen and he was getting he had one of my all-time favorite meals and so California Pizza Kitchen delivers so he had this delivered yesterday and um, he knew ahead of time that I would not be eating lunch with him um, I didn't tell him why but I just told him I couldn't you know eat with him I usually keep that I'm fasting um, a secret I don't really tell many people about my fasting but anyways, so he was ordering one of my all-time favorite meals. And so basically what he had yesterday was um, this scampi dish from California Pizza Kitchen. And he had it with uh, spinach noodles instead of the regular noodles that comes with it. And um, the dish comes with zucchini. And um, he puts like sun-dried um, tomatoes on it. And um, that was the dish. And I usually get that when I order from California Pizza Kitchen myself because he actually introduced me um, to that meal and that's how it became my favorite meal and um, in addition to you know the scampi he also had a coke um, a nice very cold coke and if you've seen you know any of my previous videos then you know that cokes are just like one of the um, hardest things I had to give up on my fasting journey um, I was like so addicted to you know cokes that I couldn't have them in the house and so every morning I would have to you know get up and drive myself to McDonald's to get myself a large coke for breakfast because if I had the cokes in the house I'd drink them like they were water and so faithfully, I drove, you know, myself to McDonald's every morning to get my soda. And I even did this when it was like winter time and it was snowy and icy outside. And there's like two McDonald's. Um, be and so I'm in between two McDonald's. One is three minutes away from my house and the other is five minutes away from my house. And so, um, Usually when it was snowy and icy, that like three minute trip turned into like a 20, 25 minute trip to get a soda. But I did that every morning regardless of what the weather was and got myself a large Coke for breakfast. And I did this basically from 1997 until December of 2021. And so um, he was drinking a soda yesterday and for dessert he had a piece of red velvet cake. And um, I've mentioned in one of my previous videos that I had a friend of mine that actually showed up to the office when I was doing the carnivore diet back, I think it was in 2019, with a um, slice of uh, red velvet cake. And that actually was the reason why I ended the carnivore diet back in 2019. So basically my friend was eating like all of my favorites yesterday. And um, you know what? Um, I wasn't doing any of my, you know, like mind tricks I've told you about you know how like during the day I make sure never to le leave my mind unattended so I was doing absolutely you know nothing to you know um, occupy my mind yesterday I was just you know kind of like sitting there and I felt absolutely nothing at all I literally had not a thought in my head um, there was like nothing in me that wanted that meal and I just like had no desire for it whatsoever and I just kind of like wanted to share this with you because that is one of my all time favorite meals and I've mentioned you know somewhere on my channel that like um, most of my cravings had dropped away but there were like five foods that I consistently crave and that was you know the the scampi dish that he had yesterday that was one of the five you know um, things that I constantly crave and I literally have no craving for it at all yesterday no desire for 
for it whatsoever. And um, when I left, you know, my friend's office yesterday, uh, I, you know, was thinking to myself about the five meals that I consistently crave on my fasting um, ever since I started my fasting journey. And to be perfectly honest with you, two of them I can't actually remember. And my third one was the scampi dish and I have no craving for that whatsoever. And the other two are like pizza and stuffing. And so basically I just kind of like wanted to share with you this story um, because when you, you know, first start your weight loss journey, when you first start a fasting journey, it kind of like seems like it's impossible that you'll ever get rid of these cravings for certain foods. It seems like you'll, you know, they'll always kind of like haunt you, they'll always be in the back of your mind, and they'll always, you know, be there to kind of like tempt you. And yesterday, I, I my, my all-time favorites were sitting like right in front of me, and I didn't crave not one thing, and I have no desire for any of the stuff that he was eating yesterday. And I wanted to like tell you that if you just persist with fasting, if you persist with clean eating, that one of the day, one of these days, you will get to where I was yesterday, where your favorite foods are sitting right in front of you, and you have absolutely no desire for them whatsoever. And it will take time, it will take some patience, it will take some willpower, and it will take some discipline at first but eventually you'll get there you'll get to a point where you know you don't want these foods anymore and I've gotten to this point there's like literally like two foods left on my list that I um, crave and one of them is the stuffing and one of them is the pizza and as far as the pizza goes I'm not really you know craving um the pizza in like its regular form like on bread with tomato sauce and the toppings i just really want you know the pepperoni and the onions and maybe the green peppers how i usually used to eat it and i'll be just fine you know putting that all in like a bowl and eating it together and i don't need like the other stuff um for the pizza so i think my pizza for cravings is kind of gone too so the only thing that i've got left is stuffing and i'm not sure um what i'm gonna do about that because you know next month is thanksgiving and my mom intends on making her um, stuffing for Thanksgiving that's just like famous and so I'm not sure you know um, if I will have stuffing or not for Thanksgiving next um, next month but I just kind of like wanted to share with you that um, your cravings will drop away your like desires for these foods will drop away and yesterday was like a sign of what's to come if you continue to fast and keep your your diet clean and so I just wanted to you know share that with you today um, and to encourage you to persist and to continue and I know that it doesn't look like um, you know at first when you start that this could possibly happen for you but believe me it will happen for you when i started my fasting journey on january 9th of this year i thought for sure that i would you know be back by now eating my favorite foods drinking soda but you know I just kind of like persisted. I used willpower and, you know, sheer discipline at first. But like right now, like everything has, you know, just fallen into place and everything is kind of like second nature now. So just persist and everything's going to kind of like fall into place for you. And eventually your like new habits are going to be like second nature for you. So um, I wanted to share that with you today and just kind of like encourage you to continue on with your journey. And um, anyways, that's today's video. I hope that you have an absolutely amazing Tuesday and I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.